I briefly explained in the other video um, how to check the calibration result to make sure that uh, it's a good result, but I figured I should probably still make a video about that um, because I still don't have Rui tutorial videos, so it might not be exactly clear um, how to take the 3D measurements I was talking about. So here I ran Connect Viewer uh, and I just aimed it back at my calibration target. Um, so you can see that the, the match between color and depth data is really quite good. Um, the grid tiles line up color-wise very, very nicely with the, with the 3D geometry. But now in order to really check it, you want to measure the size of the grid as it's reconstructed by the connect, and then just compare that to the, uh, to the values that you would expect to the real size. So I'm going to show you um, how to take 3D measurements uh, of a 3D surface in the desktop environment, just because it's not exactly obvious. So the first thing that you do uh, is you have to create a measurement tool and assign that to the mouse. And here I'm going to uh, bind the measurement tool again to the one key. So I'm by pressing and holding one just as before, I'm getting the tool selection menu. Um, but in this case, I'm not going to directly uh, put a, a measurement tool onto this button because uh, the mouse doesn't quite work that way. Before I can take 3D measurements, I first have to project the mouse into my virtual screen plane. And for that, I'm going to create a transformer tool, more specifically a mouse screen projector. So I'm just moving the mouse up there. Just to remind you, I'm still only holding on to the one key, um, letting go of one. So now the process to create such a tool has been started. And because I want to just uh, use the one key by itself, I just press it again to confirm. Um, and the dialog box goes away. So now, uh, the one key maps the mouse into the screen plane, and so now I'm pressing it again, and I'm getting yet again the tool selection menu, and now it's time to go into utility uh, and get an annotation tool. So again, pressing holding one, moving over, go over annotation tool, let go of one, and here's my annotation tool. So with this one, I can measure positions and distances and well angles as well. The rest is not yet implemented. Uh, so here, I want to measure a distance. I'm going to click on distance. That's now selected. And so now the idea is um, that I measure from this point to that point, but I have to measure in 3D space. The way to do that is to just uh, uh, bring the point that I want to measure, exactly the intersection between those two tiles here, and I want to bring that into the screen plane. How can I do that? The screen plane, whoops, uh, the screen plane is highlighted by the moment I press the, for example, the Z key, um, I'm going to get these crosshairs. Uh, they indicate the plane of the screen, and you notice now that the crosshairs are behind this particular tile, uh, and so now I want to get that uh, to come out of the tile. So one way of doing it uh, is to rotate the image using just the left mouse button. So now you notice how the crosshairs are poking through um, that particular tile. And now if I use Z again, uh, I can move it to the side a bit. And here you see how now the crosshair is just barely touching the 3D surface. So now if I were to measure this particular point, uh, I would measure directly on the 3D reconstruction. Now, of course, I want to get it to, to this point. Um, and I can just do that by lining it up behind the crosshairs. Uh, and there's another way of, uh, of moving data in and out of the image plane. What I do is you press uh, three keys together. You press Z and the left mouse button, which if you now move the mouse up and down, will zoom in or out. But if you now also press Shift, then it will dolly in and out, so you can actually move the image back and forth with respect to the screen plane. So I'm moving it until the white crosshairs exactly touch that point here between the two, between the two tiles. Going to go in a little bit more precisely, move it a little bit more, right there. And so now using one, I can put a measurement marker right there. And there's the measurement marker, exactly in the spot where I need it. So if you now rotate the image around, you'll see how the spot, how the measurement point is really in 3D exactly there. Now I zoom out a little bit, uh, press Z to pan over to the, to the other grid corner I want to measure, do the left uh, Z, left button shift thing again to move the crosshairs roughly into the right place, zoom in a lot, uh, and then do it a bit more precisely, move around, dolly a little bit, OK, and then press 1 again to do another measurement point. So now I have the distance line here, so I can zoom out, and there's the distance. Um, so now the, uh, the ideal number, this is from the calibration that we just did in the other video, 
So the ideal number for this length uh, should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 3.5 inches uh, times 2.54 because it's in centimeters. So let me do the calculation. That is 5 times 3.5 times 2.54. Uh, that is 44.45. So we are a little bit short here. We are 43.86. So we are about 6 millimeters off, which is, that's definitely not good. So the calibration I did was not good enough, which is kind of obvious because uh, I didn't use enough calibration points. I only had like five. You should definitely use more than that. Uh, but just to practice, let's also go through the other grid corner and match, uh, measure the same line on the bottom row because you probably will get a different result due to uh, miscalibration and 3D distortion. So I'm going to the annotation dialog, select distance one more time, uh, use the one key to put the distance, to put the measurement marker right into the corner there, go to the other side, uh, dolly a little bit, zoom in. I just zoomed in quickly by using the mouse wheel, by the way. Um, dolly using Z, left mouse button and shift put the measurement point right there, zoom out, and now this line is 44.5. So that's actually a little bit too long, but only by about half a millimeter. So that's that's actually really good. Uh, but overall, I would say that this calibration uh, is definitely not good enough. You would want to redo that. Um, let's just for completeness sake, let's do the same thing uh, for the height of the grid. I'm going to zoom in here, dolly in, select distance again, uh, get a distance measurement point right there, go up here, zoom in a bit, dolly until I get to the right point, put the next point here. Okay, so now this is 26.56. Let me get what the correct value should be, which is 3 times 3.5 inches times 2.54. 3, 3.5, 2.54, so that should be 26.67 and it's 26.56. So we are up, we are off by one millimeter. Well, that's really good actually. Um, now the last thing I want to do um, uh, is uh, is measure, let's say, the angle between here and there, uh, because the angle should of course be 90 degrees. Um, so in order to measure an angle, we select angle here, and then first the first measurement point will be the apex point of the angle. That's probably not the right word. Okay, I'm going to zoom in, find the point dolly until I'm in the 3D image. Okay, press 1 to lay down a measurement point. Okay, uh, then I'm going along the horizontal, put another measurement point back here to the others. Zoom in a lot, put it right there. Okay, so now we have one side of the, uh, of the angle we want to measure, uh, and then I go up to this corner again, dolly until I'm right about there. Let me tilt that a little bit, get exactly here. Press 1 again, and now we have both sides. And then if we go to the bottom here, and then we get the, whoops. Uh, come on, I'm having a hard time right now. Let's just flip this over. Here we go. There's the angle value, which is uh, it's very flickery, unfortunately. I'm just going to turn off the connect uh, feed right now. Here we go, makes it easier. So here we have uh, 89.141 degrees. So it's off by 0 0.85 degrees, which is actually not too shabby. Um, but as I said before, uh, this calibration definitely should be improved. Uh, you shouldn't be off by six millimeters for the length. That's not acceptable. Uh, you should be off at most by one or two millimeters. Okay. Um, that covers that.